Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. And as we have a look ahead today, here's what we've got for you. We had some rain last night. I think for the rest of the day, it's going to become blustery. Winds of at least 15 to 25 with gusts of 30 to 40. Clouds should mix in with intervals of sun. Here's the thing. We're in this pattern now where it's unsettled. So you get some daytime heating. The sun comes out. We get up into at least the mid maybe upper 50s. Unfortunately, the atmosphere is set up that once we do get into the mid and upper 50s, that will spark. Let's try that again. There we go. Spark some new pop up scattered showers. I guess I can't really do it well with my left hand there in terms of scattered showers and the popcorn nature of how those showers will pop up. You get the idea. There's going to be some new precipitation popping up in a scattered formation this afternoon, and I'll show you that on the future cast coming up. Overall tonight, another passing shower or two and a low of 40. Here's what to expect. Looking forward, it's changeable today. We had some rain earlier. I just mentioned that we'll have a little sun, a little more wind, and then some more showers. It's a smorgasbord type of forecast, a little of everything on the weather buffet menu today. Well, we're looking forward to, unfortunately, substandard temperatures and conditions for spring, especially since when you include yesterday, the past nine days have been near to well above 60. We look ahead. We might get close to 60 today, but further down the road Thursday and Friday, we'll be lucky to get out of the mid and upper 40s. And that's not going to feel good. Oh, and yeah, it's not just the temps. The pattern's poor. Each day, there's an opportunity for passing precipitation. And I had to use the P word because I'd rather not use the S word, although I have to because you'll see it's not just rain showers we're talking about. So at 8 o'clock this morning, Maybe a sprinkle left over, but the best chance of steadier showers to our east. Clouds still hanging out, then some sun. But notice behind me, even during the mid to late morning, there may be a passing shower or two. And you'll notice clouds break up to some sun, and then another couple of passing showers go through. It's going to be very changeable sky today. Atmospheres in and out of clouds, in and out of showers, in and out of sun. During the afternoon, one or two of these showers could get on the briefly heavier side. There might even be a little small hail or a brief flash of lightning. I don't expect the type of thunderstorm widespread activity we saw last night. Notice then temperatures tonight getting into the 40s, and there's still an opportunity of a passing shower too. Even tomorrow morning there may be a shower. See that? And temperatures in the low to mid 40s. For tomorrow, we'll carefully watch a southern wave. I think it should just be to our south. Assuming that occurs, then it's just clouds, a little sun, and new rain showers forming. Not a good pattern. Again, we can't get a day where it's going to be completely dry all day, and it's going to be breezy too. Starting Wednesday night, we then have to start using the other word. Mm hmm. Look what's going on, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yipper. You know what this is? Mm hmm. Snow showers. Now, the winds flow from the west southwest, so this is actually coming in off of Lake Erie. And there should be stuff off of Lake Ontario too here. Snow and rain showers. You see that occasionally going through with breaks of sun. The best chance for the most snow showers that'll have an opportunity to stick will be over the highest elevations. We'll keep you posted on that exact wind flow to see who might get what. The amount of sun we're going to get will be on the limited side. 25% today and tomorrow, 15% on Thursday. Precipitation probability is high, and there you go above 50% all the way through Friday. Seven day forecasts were near normal today, a little below normal Wednesday, well below normal, 10 to 15 degrees below normal for daytime highs Thursday and Friday. Anytime, anywhere, you can find more on our website, cnycentral.com.